In Marie Curie's classroom, we are studying the radioactive decay of heavy nuclei. The simulation begins with the decay of lead 201. This is a fairly light isotope of lead with only 119 neutrons. The most common isotopes of lead have between 124 and 126 neutrons. If we wish to learn what type of decay is most likely for lead 201, we can hit the play button. It turns out that lead 201 decays via electron capture. This means that one of the electrons orbiting the nucleus, presumably one of those nearest to the nucleus, is captured by a proton. The nucleus, as a result, has one more neutron and one less proton. So it has the same atomic weight, 201, but now has a lower atomic number, just 81. It is now thallium. Observations tell us that the number of leptons, electrons and neutrinos, stays the same in a nuclear reaction. So a neutrino must be emitted. This particle has no charge and very little weight, so we treat it as having an atomic number and an atomic weight of zero. Looking closely at this equation, we see two numbers next to the symbol for lead on the left. The first symbol, 201, refers to the atomic weight. This is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons. We call this atomic weight because neutrons and protons weigh just about the same as one another. The second symbol, 82, is the atomic number. This refers to the number of protons in the nucleus of lead. If you have a neutral lead atom, this also refers to the number of electrons in orbitals about the nucleus of the lead. So this number is what largely determines the chemical properties of lead. You'll see we can change the switch from regular mode to practice mode. In practice mode, you are told the type of decay, and your job is to predict what the reaction equation will look like. This is a way for you to make your own practice problems for study. Let's increase the number of neutrons. As you can see, lead with 125 neutrons is stable. This means there is enough bonding between neutrons and protons to overcome the mutual repulsion of the protons. With 127 neutrons, lead again becomes unstable. The decay is known as a beta decay. This decay is kind of the reverse of electron capture. Here, a neutron in the nucleus is replaced by a proton. To preserve charge, an electron is released. To preserve the total number of leptons, an antineutrino is released. The most common isotope of uranium in nature is uranium-238. It decays through alpha decay, in an alpha decay, a particle consisting of two protons and two neutrons breaks off. As you likely know, this is just a helium nucleus, a very stable nuclear nugget. This means the atomic weight drops by four and the atomic number drops by two. Thorium is produced. Other types of reactions are included here, including beta plus decay, in which an anti-electron is emitted rather than an electron, and others. Play around with the simulation and see what you can discover.